Basic Quality Assurance and Quality Control Part 2 Documenting the Quality of the Metadata In the previous video, you learned how to set up your workspace and download the data from the United States Census Bureau. In this video, you will learn how to document the quality of the metadata. Each shapefile can store metadata. Metadata refers to data about data. The documentation about the source of data, the methods of data collection, times of data collection, and data authorship are all part of metadata. Thorough and well-documented metadata can be a valuable resource for any company, agency, or government. As a GIS analyst, inspecting the metadata should be the first step you take when beginning a project as part of quality assurance and quality control. In ArcMap, locate the Customize menu at the top. Select ArcMap Options. When the ArcMap Options window opens, select the Metadata tab. Under the Metadata style, choose ISO 19139 Metadata Implementation Specification from the drop-down menu. Leave all other default settings and click OK. Return to the catalog window and right-click on the County 500K shapefile located in the original folder. Select Item Description and open the metadata stored in the shapefile. Enlarge the metadata window so you can easily read the contents. As you can see, this shapefile includes some metadata such as a summary, a description, credits, and the use limitations. Take a moment to read these first four sections. Open a Microsoft Word document, add an H1 style heading that says Metadata Inspection. Below the H1 heading, add an H2 style heading that says County 500K. Below the heading, record the answers to the following questions. How would you describe the quality of the metadata summary and description? Detailed, sparse, non-existent, etc. Does the metadata provide information about what organization or person created the data? If so, who is the author of the data? Does the metadata describe the way the data was collected or assembled? If so, what is it? Are there any use limitations? If so, what are they? What type of spatial reference does the data have? Geographic or projected? For this last question, do not worry about the meaning of the terms geographic or projected. You will learn about this in a later chapter. For now, try to find the answer in the metadata. When done, save the Microsoft Word document to your final folder. Name the file basic QAQC and save it as a docx file. You will repeat these steps for each shapefile. When done, save your Microsoft Word document. In this chapter, you learned about the difference between accuracy and precision. Accuracy is the degree to which information on a map matches true or accepted values. It is a measure of truth or correctness. Precision is the exactness of measurement. It represents the level of detail, the level of measurement, the level of repeatability, or the meticulousness of the description. Accuracy sometimes improves with precision, but a higher degree of precision should not be an automatic indicator of accuracy. In ArcMap, zoom to the San Francisco Bay. In the table of contents, uncheck all the boxes next to each layer. Turn them on and off one at a time. Make a comparison between the three layers regarding accuracy and precision. In Microsoft Word, add an H1 heading that says Visual Inspection. Below the heading, record the answers to the following questions. Which data set has the highest level of precision? Based on your understanding of precision and accuracy, is the data set with the highest level of precision the most accurate? Explain your answer. When done, be sure to save and close your Microsoft Word document. Then save and close the map document. Compress your basic QAQC folder as a 7Z file. Right-click on the folder, select 7-zip, then add to basic QAQC.7Z. Be sure the file extension is .7Z and not .zip. When done, you should see your project folder compressed as a 7Z file.